Hey, Bruce Reba here. Author of Freedom's Quest on Amazon. Woodpecker on Kindavella. Websites, Kayak and KSC and PetTurkeys.com. Hey, I've been talking about um, my next project, which is uh, stories about a, about the communications technicians on the Kennedy Space Center during the shuttle program. You know, during, um, during the shuttle program, I got hooked addicted to this thing called the MR340. It's a 340-mile kayak canoe race from Kansas City to St. Louis. I highly recommend everybody to do this race. It's incredible. But so, um, you know, to get to train for that race, I had to put a lot of miles in on the on my kayak. QC700, by the way. So, but I also in my boat, I would keep uh, hiking boots and, and some camo pants in case I just want to do a little exploring around the, the wild areas of the center. And um, so this one time I was um, out on the Mesquite Lagoon. And um, indeed, I, uh, I went by this old ruins I had discovered years before. And I thought, well, let's go take a look. Uh, one of the things that caught my eye... This is up in Patil, um, Max Hook, Back Creek. One of the things that caught my eye was at this at these pioneer ruins was um, a artesian well pipe, a sulfur pipe still sticking out of the ground. Because I know in um, in the '80s there was a big push to seal those off all around the, the Indian River Lagoon system, but so here was a sulfur well still leaking. So. Um, yeah, I pulled up to the bank, um, put on my uh, camel pants, hiking boots, and uh, and I went up an alligator slide into the woods. And uh, alligators don't bug me. Dumb enough for that part. But uh, what did what does bother me is uh, eastern diamondbacks. So I was really keeping my eyes to the ground for some uh, world record diamondbacks. So I got um, got into the woods, and then I ran into the hordes of golden orb spiders and other known uh, locally as banana spiders great big beautiful arachnids that I had to dodge so I was ducking and weaving looking out for snakes, ducking spiders searching for this sulfur well in these ruins and uh, and I, I smelt the water and uh, you know I was like oh I'm good and then, I, and then I, I found the little creek the little drainage creek for that sulfur well started fouling it the creek and uh, finally through the bushes I could see that slimy sulfur well pipe still leaking water and I, you know I knew under the pipe was a little concrete pond that the um, pioneers or settlers had, had constructed to I, I always imagined a little well for their a little drinking pond for their um, goats or dogs or smelly fresh water but I, I couldn't see that pond so you know I worked my way around the spiders up to that um, pipe and I got and it's like I know there's a, I know that pond's there and I'm looking around and looking and um, I don't see a pond but what I see on the ground you know the mind plays the mind plays weird tricks right? what I see on the ground pretty close to me is a dragon's tail. And so, don't take that wrong. I mean, a dragon's tail. Scaly green looking thing. And, and, and my, <laughs> my mind just said, huh. And I followed that tail, and it got bigger and bigger and bigger, and, and it came to my, towards my feet. And then it turned into an armored body. And then a head. And, and then I realized I couldn't find that little pond because a 10-foot American alligator had his or her belly in that pond. And I'm and it's right next to my head. And this is things the size of a horse. The head's the size of a horse. And I'm right next. I'm too close. Yeah, I wanted to scream. I wanted to make water. 
I wanted to run. Uh, I was never terrified it was going to bite me. I was absolutely terrified it was going to flee and turn around and that tail break my legs. And then I'd be stuck out there in that spider hell. Um, Because I didn't tell nobody where I was at. But so anyway, I I took a step back and and another back and another until I, I, until I could put a tree between me and the alligator and then I started yelling mostly incoherent words and, and I, I visualized myself as one of those Silver River monkeys just yelling because what the hell then I, then I started yelling at the alligator why didn't you scream uh, excuse me why didn't you hiss at me I met that alligators hiss at me on the space center, and and it was like, well, thank you. I'm, I'm getting back. <laughs> Why didn't you hiss at me? God damn it! It's, oh, I shouldn't cuss. Maybe it. Um, maybe I caught it by surprise. I don't know, but I was terrified. And then, you know, I, I just left. Got out. Um, got out of the lagoon. Get back onto the lagoon and did some kayaking. So the uh, that was my uh, I put that story on the website and um, so just um, keep in mind the Missouri River 340. What a race! What a race! What a race! Hey Bruce Reba out.